welcome to another exciting episode of Hidden in the Universal Vault. I'm Ron, your host, and and you know what? I'm walking you all to the first the first review for the month of March. And for those that are wondering why I didn't didn't make a video yesterday, is because I had to work yesterday and the day before. I mentioned to my YouTube community that I was sick, so I couldn't get to film anything. And then I was I came into work and I had to work that day. So, excuse me, I'm still trying to fight this, but we're gonna move on with the with the movie we take a look at, and we're taking a look at another movie starring Tom Hanks, co-starring alongside Julie Roberts, along with Brian Cranston, Cedric the Entertain, Taraja P Henson, Wilma Veneram, Wil yeah Wilma Venerama, and Pam Greer. From director from director Tom Hanks, 2011's Larry Crown. Now, Larry Crown's a movie I know I know of this movie existing. So, when I was doing some flea market hunting, I saw this movie there, and I knew I wanted to check this movie out. So, yeah, the movie came out in 2011. So, yeah, yeah, let's talk about Larry Crown. Now, I'm gonna be honest. This movie is is okay. Now, if you have, if you want to, the plot, the plot follows Tom Hanks as Larry Crown. He's a blue collar employee who decides that it's going to be employee of the month. So he decides he's like loves his job. He enjoys his coworkers. He gets called in the office, and they realize he, we had to fire you because you didn't get a college education. So he loses his job, loses his job, and decides he wants to go. He's going to go off to college. So he gets accepted to a community college, and alongside he meets up with a teacher uh, portrayed by Julie Roberts. There's also another teacher uh, played by George Takai. Yes, Sulu from Star Trek plays a professor, and I thought he was really good in that. So. Yeah, he, he, he's just this fun guy that basically he doesn't have a car. So he goes up and meets up with his friend Cedric the Entertain, who he basically decides to, how much are you selling this scooter? So, hang on. <coughs> Excuse me. So he goes and sells off this um he sells the scooter to him and wants to make a deal, but he's offering six hundred. It's like two hundred. I lost my job, so he gives him he gives him two hundred dollars and a flat screen, and he gets the scooter. So he's trying to learn how to drive the scooter, and basically, he just he doesn't really doesn't really know how to. But he basically goes around. Now that he's in college, he goes around in a scooter. So. He meets up with this this student. I believe she is played by, yeah, G Jaja Marabeth Raw. I'm probably butchering that name wrong. So he basically meets up with her and and he basically yeah meets up with her and she has a boyfriend played by Wilmer Velarama for uh, Fez from that '70s show plays the guy that's like, he does the snapping the fingers, he does the snapping the fingers, snapping the fingers, and is like, all right, you're in. So they eventually go on the highway with him and a bunch of other guys that ride scooters to Tom Petty's Running Down a Dream, which is an amazing song. It's actually the best scene in the whole entire movie. Also, Julie Roberts has a relationship with Brian Cranston, and he he's not happy with her hanging out with Larry Crown. So they're on the highway while they're driving on the highway. They're like, I know this really good diner we can go to. And they're driving, and they get to the diner, and he actually gets a job working at a restaurant. So yeah, um, it's okay. It, it's 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 fine for what it is. This is this is another movie that is good enough for me to keep. I am going to keep this movie because it, it's it's good enough. I thought Ta Hank not Tanks Hanks was actually really good. I thought he was really good as a lead and even as a director. 
Oh, I forgot to mention this movie is actually directed by the woman who... Not directed, but... It was written by the woman from Greek Wedding, uh, Nina Villaralis. She was in my Big Fat Greek Wedding. She wrote this. And it's really it's really good writing. Hanks also wrote this. And I, I like I said again, it's kind of was an odd... Kind of odd to see Tom Hanks in the directing chair along with acting, but he did a pretty good job. I mean, Tom Hanks is good at anything. Tom Hanks is like one of my favorite actors. I did cover the, I covered so many Tom Hanks movies. I covered News of the World and The Burbs, and now I'm covering Larry Crown. I love The Burbs. That's probably my favorite Tom Hanks movie. I did cover that one on the channel. So if you want to see that review, you can go ahead and check that out. And it's really, really fun. It's it's a, it's an okay movie. And and I'm trying to think anything else. I, I use a lot of and in this, but I'm trying to think is there anything else that I can say about this movie. It really has a good message in it, though it kind of ends differently. Hanks must have been a big fan of Patty and ELO because they use them a couple times in it. Writing Down a Dream and... You Gotta Listen to Her Heart, which are Tom Petty songs. And I forget the two ELO songs. Uh, the the opening song was ELO. I think it's Hold On Tight was was the other one. So, yeah, I yeah I can't really say much about it. And it's a really good heartwarming story. Oh, Pam Greer's in this. I forgot Pam Greer plays a small role in this. Oddly enough, Gail Dry is in this. I think he plays like his manager? I was like, yeah, at first I didn't know that was Dale Dry until I looked at the looked at the cast list and then I watched the feature. I'm like, oh yeah, that is Dale Dry. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah, it was produced by Hanks, written by Hanks, and directed by Tom Hanks. Kind of an odd kind of an odd pairing, but yeah, I think they're good. The first time they appeared on screen was another universal film. But this time with director Mike Nichols, Charlie Wilson's War, which I do own that movie, and I will get to I will cover that one eventually on the channel. But I thought I would go ahead and take a look at the movie with them too, Hanks directing and directing Julie Roberts. So that's all I'm gonna mention about this. So uh, special features. You do get the lead scenes, which I didn't have enough time to watch the lead scenes. I did watch the making Larry Crowd and Fun on Set, which I didn't even watch. So yeah, I can't really say much about that. So, yeah, so that's that's the review of Larry Crown. I'm going to give Larry Crown a 3 out of 5. Yep. So Larry Crown's going to get a 3 out of 5. Again, this is this is a this is an okay keep. This is a it's an okay keep. Again, 3 out of 5 I think is perfect enough. If the movie didn't didn't bore it didn't bore me, but if the movie was like laugh out loud like something like Hanks in like 80s Tom Hanks and this was an 80s movie then this would have got easily a 4 out this would have got a 4 out of 5 but as it stands it's a 3 out of 5 so yeah so anyways so yeah that's my review of Larry Crown thank you guys so much for watching if you do like the content I put on the channel uh, like, comment, subscribe, click the bell, do all that good stuff. I've got plenty of other reviews on the channel, so you guys can go ahead and check out those if you want. So, yeah, so, yeah, and as always, keep watching those Universal movies, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.